very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 48 B and C Westminster Drive in the Wellington Village Estate of Roeville. And what an amazing and extremely unique and rare opportunity presents itself for you buyers to park your money in a home, in a piece of real estate that is so rare. In fact, not one piece of real estate, but two. You've got the obviously subdivision potential, the separate title, the additional land size. I often hear downsizers say this to me, and especially when they're used to such opulence. Renee, only if you could find us a block where we can pick up our home and put it there. Well, guess what? If you are thinking down the track, when you're thinking into the future, and if that's something that you're worried about, not only will you not have to worry about it here, you also get to sell the land that you own next door to your existing property and stay. You won't have to pick up the house and you won't have to worry about anything that's been said in the news about builders going bust, etc. because you won't have to rebuild because the vendors have done that. The home's been built by Grollo. It is one of the most solid built homes you will see on the market and everything you can think of for that era that's been included. The fixtures and fittings list is almost endless. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are here to bid and buy and capitalize on such a unique and rare gem and opportunity, I wish you all the very best of luck. And to the lucky buyer, what an astute purchase. I say congratulations to you and all the best. Now today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The vendors have a reserve price and I will be indicating bidders on request. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for the property once the property has been knocked down to the highest successful bidder. Make no mistake, I'll call it once, twice, third and final time. But once the contract hits my hand, unfortunately, under bidders, it's back to your motor vehicles, back to your property hunt, back to the online portals. And the next time a property that rivals this one comes to the market, in fact, let me just remind you of the last one that hit the market that compared to this one. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, that was sold in Fordham Court in 2021 in August for $1.88 million and that was on a thousand square meter block. In fact, I know that because I sold it and the owner himself is here and that didn't have a pool and it didn't have a tennis court. So the point I'm trying to make, if you want to spend the next 18 to 24 months on all the online portals and if you wish to sit in your motor vehicles and continue to drive around wasting precious petrol and spending time at the petrol bowser waiting for a property like this to come to the market, all the best of luck to you. But if you don't want to do that, the advice is to dig deep. It's to bid with rapid fire and large increments, and I hope you take it on board. And if by any chance we don't reach the reserve price, make sure, and make sure you are holding the highest bid. I emphasize it, hold the highest bid because there are bidders in the crowd who are hoping and praying that this property will get passed in. In the event where the property will pass in, we will open it to private offers. This is exactly the scenario where private offers, when it comes to offers coming in without any transparency, you won't know what your competitors are paying. That is by far the most stressful way of buying and selling real estate. But if that's what you wish to happen, don't bid. However, if you want to avoid that, like you want to avoid any plague, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to hold the highest bid, make sure the property is passed into you and do yourself a favour and pay up to the reserve price. And many of you will say, well, that's easy for you to say. No, it's not. When it comes to a unique home, ladies and gentlemen, again, I will emphasise it. When every single thing is custom built and thought of to the absolute last detail, you cannot go wrong. So I wish you all the very best of luck and I hope you take the advice on board. Now, the law prohibits false bids. It prohibits major disruptions by the bidders and it prohibits bidders from disrupting others from bidding and provide fines for this conduct. The rules permit vendor bids. The words I use to indicate I am placing a bid on behalf of the vendors are simply vendor bid and only I, as the auctioneer, may place a vendor bid. Tennis court, custom built pool, beautiful pavers all around, barbecue outdoor entertainment area, just in time to entertain any friends, family, anyone you like. A huge U-shaped driveway, plenty of off-street parking here for your guests and your family. The home itself, the rooms are very much humongous, so the kids will not be fighting over them. In fact, the kids will be too busy playing tennis, competing, and you'll be raising a future tennis star if you are the lucky buyer.
you get to enjoy the home, you get to work from home, a very large study out the front, the double car accommodation, the high ceilings, the refrigerated cooling and reverse cycle heating. Ladies and gentlemen, just check out the fencing and if you wanted to do the numbers and replace this property, well, it's easy to just remind you, the property just one door up on 700 odd square meters recently sold for just shy of 1.3. You've got the block, you've got the home, which will remain with a thousand, and it backs onto the oval. One of the best ovals in the area, Roval, one of the suburbs that has seen in excess of $250,000 in growth to its capital improvement just over the last 24 months. And that's despite 10 interest rates in a row of increases and lockdowns and restrictions and what have you. Ladies and gentlemen, which leaves me to remind you, that despite all the odds, real estate seems to remain the safest investment on the planet to park your money into. So on that note, the ball's in your court. Let me hand it over to you. Now we've had a range of 2-2 two, two to 2-4. Two, Start me off anywhere you like. Now's your chance to show the other bidders this isn't your first rodeo, and I doubt that it has been. So step in, buyers, and start it. Lead the way, come with me, let me tempt you in. Can I invite anyone at all in the price guide? 2-2 two, two to 2-4, two, there's been plenty of sales in the area to support that the range is fair income in fact. Just the result last week exceeded 2.5 and personally I think this is the far more superior property. But buyers, without taking you there straight away, come with me anywhere you like. Even at the lower end at 2.2, I would love to welcome your interest. So come with me now buyers, now's your chance. Flex your auction muscles nice and early and don't procrastinate. Otherwise, you'll be wasting a lot of time out of your weekends. You don't want to do that. Buy real estate and buy back your weekends. And the best way to do that is to bid and start the competition and get us underway. Can I see any interest at all? Otherwise, when we'll start on a event or bid in the absence of your bidding, I would much rather see someone in the crowd put their hand up and yell out their number. 1-8, and I welcome you and your family soon. All the very best of luck. A familiar face now in the race at 1.8, and let's take it up to 100 now. 100 to 1.9, we're at 1.8 to my right. I'll call it three times if I see no further bids. 1.9 is where you need to be buyers at a million eight hundred thousand dollars. Going once at 1.8, going twice. 1.9 is what I'm searching for now. Third and final time. Can I tempt anyone else in the crowd for a hundred thousand dollar rise? Let's go to 1.9. At 1.9, we're at 1.8. How about it, ma'am, sir? Can I tempt you in at 1.9? Just give me the nod. 185. I'll take your 50 and I'll extend the same courtesy to any other bidders in the crowd. At 185 now, let's go to 19 at 185. At 185, second bidder in the race now, 19. Can I tempt anyone at all? At 1.85, 1.9, over to you, sir, now. Let's get it back on top. Yep, at 1.9 and welcome back and all the best at 1.9. Two bidders fighting for it now. How about 195? Come back, sir. 195, thanks for the nod. All the very best, how about two? At 195, how about two? We're at a million nine hundred and fifty-two million dollars to put you back on top. Two faces fighting for it, could there be a third? Once, at a million nine fifty. Twice, two millions to call. Third and final time, can I tempt you back with a hundred on top of your last bid? At 195, at 195, have a think about it and I'd love to tempt you back and welcome you with my colleague Luck. At 195, at 195, if I see no better bids, I'll call it three times. Two millions to call buyers, going once at a million nine hundred and fifty. Twice at a million nine hundred and fifty. Third and final time, ladies and gentlemen, in the absence of, was that a bid, sir? Are you thinking about bidding? What can I do to help you? What information do you require for me to assist you to bid? Because if you want to buy and you want to be on top and you want to show the other buyers that you are strong and that you're not running out of funds, you definitely don't want to be in a position of hesitation where you don't know. You want to be absolutely 110% certain. And the best way to show the competition that you are certain is to put your hand up as big. Now show it to me at 2 million. Can I tempt you in? How about it? Would you prefer to go higher than 2 million? Thanks for your patience. At 2 million. At two million, can I tempt you in? At two million dollars, at two million dollars, I'm not gonna leave you alone. At two million dollars, come now, let's go quickly. Can I introduce you as the third face in the race? A third bidder, on top, we're at 195. At two million, it's still $200,000 below the bottom end of the price guide. So can I tempt you back now, come with me at two million. 
I'll pull it three times. After that, I'll place a vendor bid, which means your bid will need to be higher than two million. No, no bid. Very well. At 195, I'll place a vendor bid at two million. Your next bid now needs to be two million and fifty. At two million with me, unless you guys would like to swoop in and take it and come back straight on top at a two mil fifty. At two mil fifty, two million with me now. At two million once, twice, at two million dollars. Third and final time, can I tempt you in? 25. I'll take your 25 at 2 million and 25. We're at 2 million and 25. Buyers, I need you to come back now at 2 million and 50. At 2 million and 25. Standing with Trent and to the, to the gentleman and ma'am that started the auction at 1.8. I still haven't forgotten about you. $250,000 later, we'll see you on top as well. We're at 2 million and 25. That's 2 million 50 to see you on top. Leading bidder. Exclusive rights to negotiate with the owners if we see no better bids. What? At two million and twenty-five, twice at two million and twenty-five, third and final time. I need to know are you guys in or out. If you're not bidding, I'll pass it in. Two million and fifty. Welcome back at two mil fifty, or welcome to you at two mil fifty and holding the highest bid. Two million. Pardon. Two million sixty. Can we keep it in twenty-five? Seventy-five. Don't shy away, sir. Show them you're 2 not. Two million sixty. 60, taking 10. I'll give the same courtesy at 60, how about 70? I don't suggest it, however, I would recommend you go straight to 2.1. We're at 2 mil 60, how about 2.1? 2 mil 60, 2.1 to put you on top. What? Pardon? 70. 70, 80, 90. 90. 90, we're at 2 mil 80. How about 90 at 2 mil 80? Once at 2 million and 80. Twice at two mil and eighty. Yeah. Third. Ninety. Yeah. Two. Two point two. Oh, is that the last bit? Uh, two mil nine. <laughs> two mil nine. Ten on top is two point one. Two one. Two one. And welcome back. And thank you for taking it on board at two point one. Did you want to go to two and eleven? Two point eleven, which is two million hundred and ten. Or would you like to take it to 2,150? Show the other bidders you mean business. Deception's everything at auction, sir. And the best way to bid is with large increments. Make a statement and let's go to 1,5, 2.15. We're at 2.1. At 2.1, I'll call it three times. First call at 2,100 to my right. Second call, we've seen three bidders fighting for it so far. Third and final time. Two ten. ten. Welcome back. Another ten on top. That's two point one two. We're at two point eleven, two point twelve, two point one two to tempt you back. It's twenty grand more than your last bit. How about it? at two point one five? Another five, so I'm not taking fives at this point in time, and I apologise for saying no to you. I'd much rather have you in a stronger position. Let's go to ten. How about at two point two, two point one two? Thank you, I appreciate it. And thanks for taking the suggestion on board. At 2.12, let's go to 2.13. At 2,120. At 2,120 with the gentleman and his family. Once at 2,120. Twice at 2,120. Third and final time. If there are any other bidders in the crowd who wish to swoop in now with the element of surprise, now is your chance to do it. We are almost at swooping period with all the max bites. Hey? 2130. 2130. I'll welcome back. At 2130. How about 2140? Or take us straight to 2150. 2.15, that would be the better call. Show the other. 5. 1.5. No, no. I'll go up 5. Still going up in 10, sir. And I apologise to do it to you again. I'd much rather have you in a strong position. Perceptions, everything at auction. Believe me, I only do this every weekend. I wish I didn't have to. But you'd be doing it every weekend as well if you didn't buy real estate today. Because the next time a property like this will come back to the market will be a while. So let's go straight to 214. 1-4 four, please, sir. Let's go to 214. I'm urging you and I'm asking you to come back at 2,140. And I'll, I'll, my bid is 3-5 if you want to take it. I appreciate it, but I'll get you to hang on to it for now. At 2,130, you're still in the strongest position now. I may come back to the gentleman and his family. We're at 2,130 with you. If I see no better bids, I'll call it three times. Pass it in to you before or after seeking the vendor's instructions and updating everyone on their decision. 
So, for the first call now at 2,130. Second call at 2.13. Third and final time at 2.13. Can I tempt you back at 2.14? I appreciate it, but before I do that, I'll pause, consult with the owners. Thank you for being so good about it, and I'll come back and update you, ladies and gentlemen, shortly. Oh, I just the Ladies and gentlemen, I will be acting on my vendor's instructions and placing a one final vendor bid at 2,200,000. If we see any bids above that level, the vendor's instructions are very clear and precise. It's to call it three times and to pass it in, whether to a highest bidder or back to the market as a private treaty receiving offers behind closed doors, sealed with no transparency. On that note, with me now at $2,200,000, can I see any advances above 2.2? The lowest offer I will take is 10,000 increments. $10,000 above 2.2 is what I'll be looking for, ladies and gentlemen. So on that note, I'll call it three times. At $2,200,000 now, going once, going twice, at 2.2, two, third, and final time. 2.220, and welcome to you, and all the best of luck. I really appreciate that bid and offer. That's at triple two now, at 2.220. At 2,220,000, you've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. I will call it three times, and I would love to get you back on top and catch you. We are at 2,220, and thank you for that. Regardless, to the bidder that started the race, I'm happy to welcome you back as well. We're at 2,220, at 2.20, going once at 2.20. Second time at $2,220,000. Third and final time at $2,220,000. All finished. Done. Silent. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, on behalf of the team at Ray White Fern Tree Gully, we will be passing the property in formally to the highest bidders who will reserve exclusive rights to negotiate with the vendors. To the underbidders, all the best of luck. If we do not reach an agreement, we will come back to you for your private office post auction. To any of the bidders who did not bid here today, you will be welcome to place your office post auction if we don't sell as well. I wish you all the very best for your weekend and your property endeavours. Thank you for attending and have a successful weekend.